What's up guys? Thanks for stopping by Cask and Q where whiskey and barbecue meet. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and I have with me today... It's Al again. Al's back. <laughs> we have a good one that we want to review for you, and we'll be right back. Hey, thanks for sticking around. We got some housekeeping items we got to get into before we taste this whiskey though. Al, what do we got to do? Meant for pillow? <laughs> or, oh wait, you're talking about yeah, yeah, like, yeah. subscribe, and smash that that bell. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, yeah ding, ding. Yep. So what we have for you is Old Elk. It's so dark in here with the lights and stuff. I, I, yeah, I can't. I, I can't read what's on that bottle. Al, do you have any idea? Uh, off the top of your head? Off the top of my head, I think it's going to be 52% corn, 15% rye, and 34% malted barley. That's, I think that's, that's pretty close. That's quite impressive that you have that stored in the old noggin. It is. It is. <laughs> so this is a barrel pick by Basement Rick House. They're on TikTok. So Basement Rick House uh, got in touch with me and uh, they were offering these bottles and they were kind enough to send one to me. This one's a barrel pick. Let's you see. You only got one bottle? I only got one bottle, I'm afraid. Huh. Um, you know, yeah, no, I'm pals. Not, pals. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this one is barrel number 8918. Uh, this one is selected by Lex Lexington Cellar, Mashbill, Al Toldis. It's aged seven years. Um, and this series is from 2022. Did oh, I say the much. proof on this is 108.7? I have short-term memory. Device. I don't remember. No, I just did. Yeah. And, but, if you, it, and we're probably going to do it again. Probably so. Yeah. Let's pour it. All right, this one's really pretty. It's, what do you think, Al, like a dark copper? Yeah, the kind of copper, uh, good little honey color. Yeah, I think so too. It's got that golden color in there too. Let's see, pretty viscous looking too. Good legs. You yeah, can see a teardrop good. right there. Yeah. Yep, looks good. Yeah, it coats the glass really well. Sure does. All right, let's go to nose All right. Yeah. Hmm. What are you picking up, bud? I got honey. Yeah. Me too. Uh, and it, I mean, uh, it's and honey. The oak that you would get, I think, is is a little little far back. Yeah. But but definitely honey. Um, that's what I'm. That's what I'm picking up more than anything. For sure. The malted barley really pops out at me. It almost has like a Scotch characteristic, and, and not the you know Isla type stuff, the smoky right. stuff, but the sweet. Uh, almost uh, fruity and you know dark fruit type of notes. It it's it smells, it's got a sweeter smell to it. Yeah. Than than some. Yeah, but you're right on point with the honey and the oak. <clears throat> and it's not it it's not an overpowering smell. It's kind of it's kind of tame. It is. Uh, but in a good way. I mean, it's not. It's not like it's diluted and there's nothing to it. Right, right. It's just that there's... It's, it's just, it's not an overpowering, you know... One way or the other. Hits you right in the nose, right, when you... Oh, as far as the alcohol? Right. Yeah. And it's hard for me to pick up just one thing, but there's like three things that kind of stick out, but it's not like one dominates the other, for me anyway. But yeah, it's, it's very sweet. Yeah, I mean, really it, sweet, um, a little bit of spice, and, and the oak is really kind of an afterthought to me. Yeah. This one. It's, it's the... the the spice in it is, is is there, but it's not. It, it's nothing that's overpowering. Yeah, agreed. Let's go to the palate. Let's go. Honey. <laughs> yeah. Honey. The honey is definitely on, on the forefront, but for some reason, when I drink this one, I think the oak comes a little. Bit, like there's more oak now. Yeah, you've got it, it. I think the oak is is when it gets down into the chest. Mm-hmm. But right on the palate, immediately, I get Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's I, not I bad. just, I just get Honey Nut Cheerios, which I love Honey Nut Cheerios. I do too. They're they're are they they're magically good. delicious? No, like, that's, no that, that's something else. Yeah, that's that's like they're charms. great. No, that's they're for kids. Do you know your cereal? 
I love cereal. That's the B. Oh, I yeah, Cheerios. yeah, a little bumble, the or yeah, not a little honeybee. Yeah, yeah, honey yeah, I like yeah. that guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, they're good for the heart. They too, are, man. they are. Honeybees are? No. I mean, they might be. They pollinate. Very good amount of sweetness. And I get that honey nut. I mean, I, I'm going to say it again. Honey nut Cheerios. Well, uh, now when it gets down into when it gets down into the chest, I, I, you start feeling a little bit. You start getting a little spicy and a little oaky. Yeah, I can definitely see that. And as far as like the the finish, really, you know, most of these whiskeys that or most of these bourbons that I have, for the most part, are medium. You might have a few that are long, um, but this one stays with you. I think uh, it does. It's 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 very good. I mean. I wouldn't say long, maybe, but somewhere in between medium and it's, long. Yeah, like, I mean, it's 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 a. Uh, <laughs> it's too easy. We're juvenile. You can just <laughs> we're just make your own jokes. We're, we're kids. I mean, <laughs> I'm 12 forever. Yeah, I don't look I mean, it. Might as well be. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but the 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 flavor on there that I, somebody knew somebody knows what they're doing in picking out this. Because it is, it's crafted very well. Agreed. It, it is a very, very good pour. You want to add a drop of water and see what happens? Let's do, and that might see if that opens things up a little bit. Give you a little tiny. I just want. Slide. I don't want to. Really opens it up. Hmm. It put it. It, it adds a, a, another layer. To me, it makes it sweeter. It does. It, it, it really does. Big now, time. now you can. Now I think you can hit some of the fruit. Now there, now there's some fruity. Well, see, yeah. There, there's some fruity things. I mean, I thought there was some dark fruit maybe playing around there somewhere. But now, since we added water, I think it's really in, it, intensified that. It comes. It, it brings note. it out to the forefront. Right. It, it, it calms the alcohol down, which I mean, to me, it, it wasn't. Really does. It's not it, a high. I mean, it, it's 108. I mean. Yeah, I mean the the alcohol is there, but it's but not. It's not kill you. It 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 definitely calms that down. Oh wow. Totally took away anything in the. It's all just like really flavorful, and there's no burn at there's, all. There's zero burn. It gets, mm. it really gets played out, especially in the whiskey, the bourbon <clears throat> world. About uh, we've got friends that we joke with about uh, mixing things with Mountain Dew, and I'll put a card right here. That's a great video. Yeah, drink it how you <clears throat> want to drink it. Yeah, but it is absolutely amazing, and I tell people this all the time. It's absolutely amazing what just a couple of drops of water will do to a pour. Sometimes it can destroy it. Sometimes <laughs> it can. But but it it is amazing sometimes how it will open things up and will mm -hmm. totally give you a new give you a new uh, perspective on the on the flavor. Profile. Yeah, I mean it can really change it uh, or just bring out its characteristics that are you know the good characteristics of a whiskey. Okay, so this is the part of the video where we rate our uh, bourbon tasting experience. Uh, we go by uh, availability, taste, and value, and uh, it's one through ten, one being the worst, and ten being the best. Yeah. So what do you got, buddy? I don't know. Uh, you know, you you talk about the availability is not readily available. <clears throat> so I can find it. And so yeah. so you're automatically losing points there. You're, you're, which I hate to say you're losing and because and, and, yeah, that's not really what it that's is. That's not it's, really what it is. Yeah. But, but we have to give it a score. But we have to, yeah. we have to have some kind of metric system yeah. in there. Right. But, but with all that, I'm still, I'm, I think I'm going about a seven and a half. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it, it, cause it is an excellent, excellent pour. Uh, the colors <clears> there, the, the flavor profiles on the nose is there. The taste is there. And you add that water in there, and I mean, it is, it's phenomenal. Yeah, it makes a big difference. It, it really is. Yeah, I think it's really good bourbon. Um, I'm right, I'm right there with you. The uh, the availability for me, um, I mean, it's just not around, um, at least at least in our market. Right. Uh, you know, especially this particular barrel. Uh, let's see. You know, the taste is amazing. I, I just I think this is a really really solid bourbon, and uh, the value. Um, I want to say this retails for about 90 bucks. Uh, Maybe it's I can see that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, somewhere around there. Uh, I mean, there's other bourbons that are, you know, in that price range that are really, really good, and there's others that are really, really bad. Um, and I've had both, and this is, I, I think, on that good range. So, you know, you, you said you're a seven and a half. I think I'm going to go a seven and three quarter. 
Okay. Um, just because, like what you said, it to me it, the the availability pulls it down. I mean, that's that that. If it was on the me, shelf everywhere, I mean, if it was on the shelf, close it, to a nine, maybe. Yeah, it, it'd be it it'd be much higher. But yeah. I mean, we have to. You have to throw stuff in there like you do. that. You do. I mean, because, everything can't be a nine or ten. Yeah. Well, no. not only that, but you, you've. Not everything is readily available. That's right. So I mean, you know, we can't. We have to throw that into mm-hmm. an account. Yep. So. Yep. Okay, well, uh, I think that about wraps us up. Al, what do the uh, viewers need to do? Hey, they need to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. That's right. The notification button. That's right. You turn it on, it's going to send you a notification that I've looked up. Tell you that that he's, that the big guy has put out new content. I do all the magical editing, all that stuff, and bling, it uploads to the cloudy cloud. and That cloud, does it ever get full? I don't know. Water. I don't know. That's how you make bourbon. There we go. So, hey, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you next time. Appreciate it.